Oops. I didn't up the way. What's up, guys? Welcome to my condo. Don't allow what anybody out there tells you is possible or not possible for you. All right, guys. So today I am about five and a half weeks out of the Cali Pro. Uh, I just had my pre-workout meal. It's a low-carb day. I've done about three low-carb days in a row. So, you know, definitely start to feel the lower energy when you do three in a row. Uh, so here I have my already mixed, my pre-workout concoction and my intra-workout. So I'm going to tell you exactly what's in these, like no secrets here. Um, so I have in the pre-workout, I have five grams of creatine, monohydrate, and I also have a small scoop of venom, which is the uh, pre-workout from Dragon Pharma, as well as a big scoop of the Mr. Veins, which is the pump product. So I'm gonna drink that on the way to the gym. And then my intro workout here, which is 500 mils of pure coconut water and a little bit of extra water as well as uh, 15 grams of uh, EAAs. So the reason I have the coconut water in there is basically, well, sugar, carbs during my workout. Um, and I also find like, to be honest, like I like the coconut water as well. Um, it's something new I've been doing since uh, working with uh, Patrick tour the past like four or five weeks. Um, but I noticed it helps with the like, digestion and stuff from the, the coconut itself. So like, you know, later in the day and stuff, my digestion's still running on point, which helps as well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go knock out a shoulder and triceps workout at my, still my new home gym, Florida Fitness. So let's go. All right guys, so as you can see, I got my, Got my Prada Prada shades on, and we're driving to the gym. It's not too far; like it's only about uh, roughly 10 minutes from where I live, which is really nice. I was lucky to find this gym, um, you know, after things started to reopen, um, and it's really, really nice location, nice gym, really good staff. Everybody's like friendly. They got good equipment. It's a you know, it's never really busy, and like they're very you know accommodating to someone like myself. You know, you know, who's training for shows and. Uh, takes it very seriously, so it's a really good uh, setup for someone like myself. Um, yeah, and I also just wanted to, you know, show you guys something a little different. So, like, showing you guys, like, the pre-workout and the drive to the gym and then the training as well as, uh, you know, showing you guys more posing after the workout today as well. So, that'll be, uh, that'll be something I'm going to try and do uh, every video uh, leading up to the show is include some posing and other stuff like that just so you can see, like, you know how I'm looking and so on and so forth so I'm not trying to you know hide how I look or anything like that it is what it is you know like I'm happy with how things are progressing and it's uh, there's nothing to hide you know at the end of the day it's you know you're gonna be on stage and you're posing trunks and beside everybody else so like you know you're gonna look the way you look some people you know they choose to be a little more discreet and hide the way they look until the show but uh, I like to be more of an open book and just be like this is how I look and you know is the way it is you know you, could, you don't really see a full um, version of someone until they're on stage anyways comparing to other you know competitors so whether or not I you know hide myself or not really doesn't make a difference and for me it just I get fueled by anybody you know making comments whether they're positive or negative so I really like to you know I really like to post because it just you know it gives yourself some some hype and it also you know for me it just pushes me to want to work that much harder to bring you know a better version of myself to the show so like I said uh, five five and a half weeks out maybe just a bit under because it is Thursday today um, and you know other than a little bit of low energy and such like I'm feeling good training has been going really good strength is still pretty pretty high considering how close it is and you know how low my carbs are most days but uh, I kind of attribute that just to the fact that I kind of started prep earlier in the year and then I kind of had to back off for a bit when the gyms were closed um, and then getting back in the gym around the 12 week out mark I was able to you know start pushing hard again so I really think it's just part of that and just the fact that it's like being able to continue to do what I love to do is just like that motivation behind it so you know I'm excited and uh, I'm ready to get after this shoulder and tricep workout in a few minutes. 
All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with some rear delts uh, just to get things warmed up, get the blood flowing. So, uh, so we're gonna do the reverse pack deck here. Uh, so this A good set. So we're gonna do one more set, a uh, bit of a back off set. So I'll drop it down to two and a 25 on each side and basically do the same thing, try and get at least eight, if not 10. Um, and the reason for that, like I do back off set on something like this is because if I did, you know, if I went to go after three plates again, I definitely wouldn't get eight reps again because that was more or less failure altogether. So if I drop the weight down a bit, I can still hit you know, that same desired rep range for another work set, um, you know, just with a bit less weight. So it still keeps the same, you know, tension and emphasis on the, on the muscle. So we'll do that one more set and then we're going to move on to some lateral raises. All right, so just finished the uh, Smith machine shoulder press, so we're gonna do standing dumbbell lateral raises next. Um, this is one I've been really liking the past uh, few weeks, uh, being back in the gym and everything. Uh, so we'll work up gradually with these on each set. Um, and same concept sort of as the uh, military press. I'll work up to a max weight. And so what I'll do is I'll work up to a max weight 
um, and do as many reps as I can with that. And then I'm going to do a back offset, but for the back offset, I'll do a rest pause. So a little bit different, but still emphasizing the back off and a little bit lighter just to force more blood flow and do more reps. So first one, first one's like a feel set warm up and then gradually work up from there. Alright guys, uh, just finishing up the dumbbell laterals. Next, we're going to do barbell upright rows. This is one that's been like a staple since I was doing the garage workouts. And I've kept doing it since I like it. Uh, so I'm going to do those next uh, to target a little more traps, front delts, and well, some medial delts too. So we'll knock out some sets there next. Whew. sets here. I uh, just did like a, a warm-up feel set with a plate aside and I'll do the next couple of sets I'm going to do a plate and a quarter and uh, just try and get good reps like at least 10 reps a set. And
Like I like to keep a decent amount of weight because you know what got you to that point in regards to your training is what's going to keep you know help keep the density as you get a bit leaner. So um, I still like to try and keep the weight decent and keep the rep, rep range you know on that around that like you know 10 to 12 or so range for the most part. So. Doing one more exercise for shoulders before I uh, move into some triceps. So I'm doing an incline rear delt dumbbell fly here. So going like with a decent amount of weight, going to do a few sets here uh, to finish off rear delt. Uh, just some straight sets of around the, around the 12 rep mark, uh, and then we're going to move into triceps, followed by uh, some posing again for you guys to see how I'm looking at around uh, the five and a half week up mark. All right. Let's get this. So I'm going to switch into triceps. I'm actually going to start off with a, a one arm overhead uh, dumbbell extension. I haven't done them in a while. I don't want to do those today. So I'll start off with those uh, for my first uh, tricep movement. So done with those, did uh, three sets there, just gradually working up to a heavier set. Um, triceps, I don't do a, a crazy amount of volume like I would for bigger body parts, but I'll still do three exercises, about three sets each. Um, so now we're going to move on to the cable tricep extension next. So again, on uh, this exercise, I'm going to do three sets total, uh, a little bit more reps, 
than on the, the overhand uh, dumbbell extensions, but uh, just because of the cable, just keeping the tension and getting more blood flow in the muscle. Uh, triceps isn't usually something I go crazy heavy on, but uh, I like to, you know, keep the rest pretty short and just uh, get those sets in. So I do a couple more sets here, uh, increase the weight on each set, and then I'm going to finish off with some uh, body weight uh, dips. All right, so we're gonna finish off with body weight bar dips. So for these ones, since it is more tricep focused, I'm gonna be staying more upright and have the bars in closer as opposed to wider. So that way it's more targeting triceps. So when you are training, uh, if you're trying to target more triceps, go a little closer to grip and more upright for triceps. And for chest, you wanna like lean forward more, go a little wider just to get more contraction in your chest. So. This is more tricep focused. gonna clean off the machine and then
All right, guys. So, just knocked out shoulders and triceps, followed by some posing, which you guys will get to see as well. Um, so, hopefully, you can already see the difference in like my conditioning improving from the last video, which was about uh, about roughly 10, 10 days before this one. So you'll get to see the difference in that, um, and also like how my training is this close to the show. Um, so keep following along because I'm going to keep trying to post at least, you know, a video a week leading up to the show so you guys can see like how things change for me, how my body's changing, you know, and maybe even how my mood's changing. Maybe I'm going to be grumpy, who knows, but uh, I'm feeling good with how things are progressing and how things are changing and I'm, I'm excited, you know, I'm excited to finally get, be able to get back on stage and, uh, you know, showcase the improvements I feel that I've made since, you know, 2019. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment of something you liked, maybe something you didn't like, maybe you don't like my voice, who knows. But if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe now.